And yeah, yeah, wow. And this looks good. <laughs> wow, yeah, and that's on, wow. You wanna do something fun? Let's do something fun. Folks, it's very exciting. Beta 2 for DaVinci Resolve 18 has launched and with it, the object tracker. I think that's what it's called, right? Let me check. Object mask. <laughs> this is a new feature inside Magic Mask. So it is DaVinci Resolve Studio only, but it wasn't in the first beta, even though they um, showed it in the presentation and got lots of people excited. It wasn't in beta one. It's here in beta two. I've got the beta loaded on my M1 MacBook Air and my PC desktop here that just finished. I've tried a little something on my MacBook that was very exciting, but let's try to get Resolve opened up on my desktop. My desktop is nothing special. I bought it used several years ago. It's an i7 7700K with a stock 1070. And with something like this object mask, um, I'm very interested to see how it pairs up with the M1. It might be a little more tuned for it, um, especially since I don't believe it's just raw power. It has some of like their AI stuff. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try it on my desktop first. Here I have a 4K timeline. We'll see how this goes screen recording while I'm doing this as well. And here I have this clip of this dancer I grabbed just from Pexels, a great uh, free online source for that. But anyway, I'm hopping over to the Fusion page. And here inside Magic Mask, you can see we have that default person mask, which was the default object Magic Mask, I believe. Um, but now this object mask, let's try object. It might recognize this as a person, but let's see how object goes. If I just draw a line on this person, and I believe if I toggle on mask overlay, I don't know if it has to think about that. Oh yeah, but hey, it's a person. Then we just give him his other leg, fill in his chin, maybe his shoe, and then we track forward and backwards. We'll be able to see how this goes. Um, this is in 4K. And yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's... Um, I I'm not sure. Um, I, I tried a first test of this um, on my Mac on a 1080 timeline. I'm not sure how resolution plays into this. Yeah, but that tracked forward. Now it's tracking all backwards. Um, and this looks good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty quick too. It's, it's not a giant clip, but if I go, if I add like a alpha output on that and connect the source. Yeah. If I just hop back to the edit page, all of a sudden, <laughs> wow. Yeah. And that's on. Wow, you wanna do something fun? Let's do something fun. Um, I'll just toss on a plain text here. Dance. You can toss that up. Oh, not quite. Because if you start messing around with any of this, especially bringing stuff into Fusion, which you might do a bit later, um, you need to keep in mind the sort of order of operations of these things. Yeah, I believe I have wiped out that track because um, the color happens um, I believe like almost last in the order of operations. So it does everything on the edit page, um, then the fusion page and that sends that to color to actually do stuff. Here it looks like it picks some stuff up, but again, yeah, I'm not sure if there's a way to like save that track, but we'll track it again. Um, so what we're gonna do, if I want to do this as a, like a first pass to chop something out, um, I believe just making that a simple compound clip. Wow, this is cool. And I'm sure like, I don't know what other, wow. I'm I'm stunned even on my desktop. Um, yeah, well that's going. Let me hop over to this laptop as well. Um, I'm gonna go to the center, open up the color page. Um, I'm not sure if there's a difference between like uh, processing between object and person. Again, that just recognized it fine, but I'll try to do like the same masks a bit. Yeah, and we can see that. I'll track forward and backwards again. We'll see about how this goes on a laptop. Okay, a bit slower. So yeah, raw GPU power does count. <laughs> it's it's not all AI, whatever, um, but it's going, looks like still be doing pretty good there. We'll keep that going. Um, but yeah, if I come back to the edit page here, I make that compound clip. Now I will be able to, hmm, interesting, okay. Let's try doing this inside the compound clip first. I'm sure I might be missing something. A oh, reference frame. If there's a way to lock this down, that would be really nice. Again, I haven't messed much with, I've, I didn't mess a lot with Magic Mask beforehand. 
Um, I was going back and forth between like Studio and Free for some other stuff. But yeah, this is impressive. Pretty precise too. And yeah, my laptop, it is, is, it is just an M1 Air. Um, but it's chugging a little bit, especially in 4K. Both of these are still in 4K, which is wild for this desktop, I feel like. Very cool. Okay, now if I hop back to my compound clip. Ooh. Oh yeah, it just has to catch up a bit. And then go back to my timeline. Here, I should be able to modify this in a few different ways. So if I like dance, I can make the little guy. Whoops. Not that little guy. Dance on top of that. Yeah, I think OBS does not like me recording this and doing this at the same time. That's great. And then, like I said, it looks like if you want to isolate something to use it either on the edit page or what we'll do in the fusion page here, we should be able to make it a compound clip first, go inside the compound clip, add the mask, and then I can take this compound clip right into the fusion page. Yeah, and I just have this completely isolated element. And I'm pretty shocked. This is this is a big deal. Um, like Rota Brush was one of those big things in After Effects, but this is super exciting. I'll be diving into like, like, wow. <laughs> cool. It's out there. Um, Beta 2 is out there. Object Tracker is out there. Uh, I'm going to try on a whole bunch of other different things now. Oh, there goes my evening. I'll be posting some cool stuff on Twitter, um, I'm sure, and tossing this video up. It's very exciting. If you have a studio license, uh, yeah, and you, especially if you've already grabbed the first beta, grab Beta 2, mess around with this, it's going to be a big deal. Um, obviously, big wish list. Um, just give this to me in the Fusion page, please, Black Magic. Um, so I don't have to do this funky workaround because this is this is impressive. I'm back maybe for the last time because we're going to talk about hair real quick. Um, in the selection, there's this quality, faster or better. I watched back through the announcement video. Fireworks, cool. So now if I just select that, you'll see faster. Um, I have I have there are different ways you can do this. You have this preview here that shows you the mask. Um, but if you undo that, you can see the selection options gal as well. If you change that over to better, it instantly knows what you're looking for with a lot of that here and will give you that leeway. And then you can use some other some other controls. If I go in here and tell it to just like not do that. Okay, I don't want you as much but that is Yeah, I'll track that. And you can see it's still catching a lot of that fine detail. So here in fine detail, you have that quality selection faster or better. Alpha output as per. And now if I just drag this up and bring in like this, this boat before. Yeah. You could mess with edges a bit more, but like, yeah, that is nuts right there. Look at that. So big clumps, yeah, but like that, Whoa! Okay, I'm sure there's lots more, but I have to make this video now. <laughs> cool, go play. I'm gonna go play. Bye.